So my father's health collapsed in January of 1987. Um, looking back at it, it was clear that he was getting uh, shorter and shorter of breath uh, in the years before then uh, because he would go nowhere where he couldn't drive even if he was going you know, a couple of hundred yards. He went to the VA hospital and was there for six months getting on even keel for breathing, learning how to stay alive uh, when you can't take oxygen in. When he left the VA hospital, they told us he had at best a year to live. And so with that, we decided, my three brothers and I, to organize around making sure he had that last year at home because that was his request. We had looked into finding an assisted living place. We had looked into all kinds of things, but the choice he wanted and that we were able to support was that he would live in a home that he would pay for and buy food for. And um, my three brothers were going to take turns uh, living with him all at once while they went to school and raised small children and uh, alone as single parents. And that um, they would rotate during the 24 hour days and then I would come to give respite. My father lived for seven years um, and fighting for breath every day, but living in a space where he felt safe. Ultimately, it reduced to just one of my brothers carrying the whole burden uh, and me coming to do respite. But he um, got to eat the food he knew. He got to be in a home that he had stayed in for a long period for these seven years. He got to be in a place where people could come visit him. And, um, and he knew that there was somebody always there. Um, he did not wind up going in and out of the hospital as so many COPD patients do in the last year of their life. In fact, at the end of seven years, he just went into the ICU once. And um, I fully believe that he had had those seven years to accomplish all he had wanted to accomplish at the end of his life. And so on the day he was supposed to come home from the hospital, again, to a different, better living situation with another brother, um, he died. On that morning, in uh, you know, in the early hours of that morning, and I, my whole family believes that he actively made the decision that it was time to go. So, I believe it was infinitely cheaper on the medical system to uh, have my father cared for in that way, but very few families can afford that. My father was retired military. So I think he had $3,500 a month as constant income over those seven years. And that was enough to keep a household and to um, essentially pay a family member as a caregiver. Today, you can't do that. You can only, uh, if you get disability money or if you get any other kind of money to care for someone, you can't, a family member can't do that. Um, I think that's one of the many broken things in our healthcare system that causes it to be far more expensive uh, than it needs to be and have a much lower quality of care and a much lower quality of 